This is the additional practice problem number two for anyone who's just looking for extra practice and wanting to check to see if they're correct. The problem is asking us to expand the binomial again. This time it's the quantity of 3x plus 1 to the fourth power. So when we are raising something to the fourth power, we know there's going to be five terms. So if you're trying to think of like what are the coefficients, again, you can draw Pascal's triangle if you need to. You can look at that reference page. Or if you think about it here, we know that the first coefficient has got to be 1. The second coefficient is going to be whatever n is. So since n is 4, maybe we don't know what that third one is at the moment. But then we know that the second to last one has to be a 4. And then the last one has to be a 1 because it has to be symmetrical. So we just need to know what that one is. And you can go back and look it up. right? We know it should be 6. So now we're just going to take it here and let's put in our variables. So remember, this is like a plus b to the fourth to start. So we have a to the fourth, a to the third, a to the second, a. And then we have a b to the zero, b to the first, b to the second, b to the third, and then b to the fourth. And now we'll just take it here and we'll plug in the values that we need to for our a values and the values that we need to plug in for b, which would be just positive 1 on this one. All right, so here we go. We've got 1 times a 3x to the 4th plus 4. And we're going to have a 3x to the 3rd. And our b value is 1, so just times 1, plus 6 times a 3x to the 2nd times 1 squared plus 4 times a 3x times a 1 to the 3rd, and then plus 1 times 1 to the 4th. These ones are nice. I usually don't give so many ones, but did this for you because you're not even in school right now trying to learn this. Here we go. So 3x to the 4th power. You have to remember this is 3 to the 4th times x to the 4th. So 3 to the 4th is 81. So we have 81x to the 4th. The next terms we have here, we've got... A 4 times 3 to the 3rd is 27 times a 1. So we multiply those together. I believe that's going to be 108x to the 3rd. The next one, we've got 6. And then we've got 3 squared is 9. And then 1 squared is 1. So 6 times 9 times 1 should be 54 and then our x is being squared. Next one here, we've got 4 times a 3 times a 1 cubed would be just a 1. So that's going to give us 12 times an x. And then the last one, 1 times 1 to the 4th, is just going to end up being 1. And this is our answer. 81x to the 4th plus 108x to the 3rd plus 54x squared plus 12x plus 1. If you have questions, please make sure you reach out. Otherwise, thanks for watching.